Uh, flight controller is going to go for landing. Retro. Go. Fido. Go. Guidance. Go. Control. Go. Telcom. Go. GNC. Go. Ecom. Go. Surgeon. Go. Capcom, we're go for landing. Uh Altitude 4200. Houston, you're a go for landing. Over. I turn it Go for landing. 3,000 feet. You're looking great. How you doing, Control? We look good here. Fine. Uh, how about you, Telcom? Go. Guidance, you happy? Go. Fido. Go. 2,000 feet. 2,000 feet. Into the ag. 47 degrees. Roger. 47 degrees. Still looking very good. Here, go. Stop alarm. 
view. They got something? Magnificent flight out here. Magnificent desolation. Tyler is very, very, very fine powder, isn't it? Isn't that fine? Hey, Neil, didn't I say we might see some purple rocks? Find the purple rocks? Yep. Very small, sparkly uh, fragments. Uh, you're going too fast on the panorama sweep. You're going to have to stop for... I haven't stopped. I haven't set it down yet. Hey, Neil, did you find the purple rocks? That's the first picture in the panorama. Okay, I'm going to move it. if you got a picture, Houston. Well, we've got a beautiful picture, Neil. Okay, we've got that one. Okay, there's another good one. Uh, for a final orientation, we'd like it to come left about uh, five degrees over. Looks good there, Neil. Buzz is erecting the solar wind experiment now. Every precious minute of their two and a half hours on the surface was programmed. Rock and soil samples were to be collected. Photographs taken. Experiments set up to catch unfiltered particles from the sun to record moon quakes, to measure precisely by laser beam reflection the exact distance between moon and earth. Columbia, Columbia, this is Houston, AOS, over. Houston, Columbia, and I gain, over. Roger, the EVA is progressing beautifully. They're setting up the flag now. I guess you're about the only person around that doesn't have TV coverage of the scene. Got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes on the lunar surface. Beautiful, just beautiful. How is the quality of the TV? Oh, it's beautiful, Mike. It really is. I'd like to evaluate the uh, various paces that a person can traveling on the lunar surface. You do have to be. All right, you do have to be. Uh, Rather careful uh, to keep track of where your center of mass is. Sometimes it takes about two or three paces to uh, make sure that uh, you've got your feet underneath you. or maybe four easy paces can bring you to a fairly smooth uh, stop. It's like a football player, you just have to...
does is making his way around the limb, photographing it from various angles, uh, looking at its condition on all sides. Uh, right in this area, there are two craters. Uh, the one that's right in front of me now, as I look off in about the uh, 11 o'clock position from spacecraft, about uh, 30 to uh, 35 feet across. Roger up. In the foreground, Buzz Aldrin is collecting a core tube sample. You're watching uh, how hard I have to hit this into the ground uh, to the tune of about five inches, Houston. Roger. It almost looks wet. Uh, Buzz, this is Houston. Uh, you've got about ten minutes left now prior to commencing your EVA termination activities. Over. Roger, I understand. 